slipping into that, which is very dangerous. And, and this is something that is actually politically unpalatable right now, but I also think that we need to privatize the PSU banks because we need to get the incentives in there to lend because right now there are all the disincentives of a bad loan because one of the NBFCs which we fear are going to fail even my firm has given them a loan three days back someone has thought that they have the collateral and the risk appetite because it's going to help, help their bonus at the end of the year to at a very high interest rate to fund that NBFC in a PSU bank that incentive is just not there so you need so there is all the disincentive of being hauled up for a bad loan but no incentive to give loans and to get, take business risk in a system where 60% of the banking loans are, are still PSU banks we need to change that we need to reassess what percentage of our banking system still needs to be this is a super loan. point well, one second sir I want to ask uh, before SPHA you go to him no I think he will not be able to answer this question as much as I can <laughs> First so of he, all, I thought you said he's kind of. I want to join issue empowered. with Nilkan because I don't think the private banks have covered themselves in any glory whatsoever. We have more scandals in the private banks today than we have in the public sector banks. And nobody can blame only the public sector banks. There are more scandalous things coming out of the cupboard of private sector companies. There are more scandalous things coming out of the cupboard of private sector NBFCs, private sector HFCs. And this government is trying to clean up that mess. And that is the consequence that Nilkant you are talking of. I don't think privatization is the panacea of all the problems of this country. The public sector banks today are the reason why India has developed so much. They are the reason we see all over the country. Infrastructure, power plants, manufacturing companies. They are the ones who held the hand of Indian entrepreneurs through thick and thin and helped us come where we are. I am a beneficiary. I am what I am today because of the public sector banks, because of IDBI, ICICI in its earlier avatar as a development financial institution. No private bank would give money to a young entrepreneur just wanting to start a new business. It's the government banks that stood by me through thick and thin when I had labor trouble. The private bank wanted to pull the plug. The government bank stood by me and said, no, tied over it, we are backing you up. I think it's time we recognize the important role they are playing. Not to say that we should not privatize, not to say that we should not disinvest. Government has no business to be in business. I support that. But let's not castigate the private sector bankers. They have done some huge work for this country. And I think it's a matter of pride for India that we have projects in the remotest corners of India. No private bank, including the one where my friend Nilesh Shah works, has ever lent to any industry one rupee. They have never lent to any exporter taken any risk capital. It's the government banks that have taken risks and created entrepreneurial spirits in the country. Hats off to these bankers for the adverse circumstances. Very, very adverse circumstances in which they have worked. They have been willing to take risks which these private banks have not. Private banks are looking at cozy, comfortable retail lending cozy, comfortable lending to very, very safe uh, borrowers who pay 42% tax possibly, but they are not willing to lend to the poor farmer. They are looking at soft spots, whether they can lend to a sugar plant and categorize it as an agricultural loan. And I think we must and continue to support the public sector banks if we want India to really grow in a big way.